Welcome to another great episode of American Rifleman Television. Smith & Wesson guns are very, very good, but there are some that have upgraded features, and those are guns put out by the Performance Center, and we'll show you how they do it this week. Our Rifleman review this week is a big gun. It's the Colt Anaconda, chambered in 44 Magnum, and this new gun may be better than the original. For I have this old gun, we'll shoot a very specific use firearm, and that's the Howda pistol. Basically, it's for self-defense from Tigers. But right now, let's head for the Smith & Wesson Performance Center. Inside the Smith & Wesson factory, there's actually another factory within the factory, and that is the Performance Center. These are guns that are tuned and enhanced for specific jobs. Jobs like the one for this gun, the 327 and 357 Magnum. This gun weighs less than 25 ounces, but holds eight rounds. This week, we'll show you pretty much the entire handgun line from the Performance Center. Uh, so Performance Center has, has really truly evolved over time within its role in Smith & Wesson. Um, it was rooted in competition when it first came out and that was primarily what it was. Today, we've extended that to almost a premium offering across all of our products. Uh, so whether it's revolvers, pistols, rifles, there's typically a Performance Center variant out there for it. If you've not seen it, here it is. This is Colt's Anaconda and it's back. This is the second generation double action, single action wheel gun to come from Colt bearing the Anaconda logo. Now, Colt introduced its original Anaconda in 1990, and it was designed as a large frame revolver for the heavy hitting 44 Magnum cartridge. This is essentially a double rifle with a pistol grip and a short barrel. You know, once they, they figured out centrally primed uh, cartridges, they, they became very effective. They'd always go off. And as a self-defense gun at close range against a large animal, I can't think of anything more effective. The, the thing about the Howda is you have to think about the people who are purchasing these. If you're tiger hunting enough that you need a Howda pistol, odds are you're pretty wealthy. And one of the, the finest examples of the Howda is here in the NRA National Firearms Museum. It's an Alexander Henry, and it's beautiful. It's beautifully cased. It has uh, loading tools with ivory handles, and it has a lot of gold inlay. Um, I mean, this is, best, this is a best quality gun. I mean, you're not going to be able to buy a nicer gun than this. Uh, 